Welcome back, Cracked fans. We are here live at the Top Seed Tennis Club for this year's inaugural Kentucky Open. Joining us now, one of the many talented young American women in the field this week, Haley Baptiste. Haley, first of all, thank you for taking the time to do this. I know you are playing with Whitney uh, in the doubles this week. I know you also got the chance to play singles qualifying three-set loss. Uh, I know that must have been a bummer, but in general, being here this week, these conditions, what have you thought thus far? Yeah, this is like the first indoor tournament that I've played in like... Uh, I didn't play any indoor matches <laughs> last year, so um, I grew up in Washington, D.C. I'm used to playing indoors, so it was pretty fun to come back. Yeah, I can imagine. I believe you trained at the JTCC growing up, at least a little yeah. bit here yeah, and there. Yeah, yeah, like 10 years or so. Yeah, so comparing uh, those indoor courts to these courts here, what have you thought of this uh, top seed tennis club facility? Um, these are more, like, these are definitely set up for, like, big events and, like, tournaments, college matches. Uh, they're more like practice courts, but I really like the courts here and the atmosphere. There's stadiums and bleachers for people to watch, so it's nice. Yeah, and I could be wrong about this, but we were here yesterday, and I swear I saw you on the practice court for like six hours in no, total yeah, yesterday. I practiced five times yesterday. Yeah, so <laughs> run me through the thinking behind that. Why were you out there for so long? Um, I mean, I'm not playing singles, and I didn't have any doubles matches tomorrow, so I just practiced and just trying to fix what I didn't do well. <laughs> <laughs> no, for sure. Does it help when you have, I mentioned uh, Whitney, your doubles partner, but other young Americans, I know Claire's here, Claire Lou and Lee, Katie McNally. Uh, when you get to travel to tournaments like this, that you have a huge cohort of fellow young Americans, does that make you more comfortable week in, week out? Um, yeah, definitely. I'm really good friends with all of them. We travel together in juniors, and it's like really cool to transition into the tour with them. So. Yeah, and for you, I, I mean, you, you throw yourself in that list. The reason I put you there is because you're one of many young American women who I, if you don't mind me saying, think have so much promise. Uh, for you coming into this 2020 season, you know, how has it gone so far? We're only one month in, but, you know, have you adjusted your goals at all? What have you thought thus far of your season? Um, It's been, it's been okay. It hasn't <laughs> been great, but it's still the beginning, still the whole year ahead of me, so... Yeah, I know you're coming from Oracle to join your chip. You know, it's pouring out right now as yeah. we're doing this, but it must be nice to get some sunshine in. Yeah, definitely. It was nice to go down there. and I trained in Orlando, so it's like complete opposite. <laughs> yeah, no, less humid. Uh, yeah. You can actually feel yourself. You can breathe yeah. a little bit. Now, that's awesome. Well, for you, uh, I, I know, uh, you know your goal's high this year, uh, and justifiably so. Uh, I know you're not in the singles here, but moving forward, uh, you know, what are you hoping to take out of not only the doubles this week, but just out of these next couple of weeks of your schedule? Um, hopefully to get a few more matches under my belt and win a few doubles matches with Whitney. Hopefully I'll take the title or something. Yeah, I know. I know we are all excited as fans here that you guys will be playing later today. Last yeah. question for you, a fun one. Uh, I'm asking everyone here this week because it's Valentine's Day week. Uh, now, I would, I'm would i a boring guy. I would come here for my Valentine's Day, and that's why I don't have a girlfriend, <laughs> because she'd be like, no, under no circumstances. But your ideal Valentine's Day date. Oh. Whitney's laughing in the background. She's getting the same question <laughs> in about five minutes. Ideal Valentine's Day date? I don't know. Like go out to like a fun dinner or something <laughs> then just chill at home for the rest of the night. I like it. That is perfect. Well, Haley, good luck to you and Whitney this week in, in doubles. And, uh, <laughs> I hope you and thank you so much for taking the time yeah, to answer our questions. You.